Hello and welcome to another episode of Critical Coffee Considerations with me, Francis Peck. Today we're talking about infrared thermometers or optical pyrometers, just like this one. And this is all thanks to a video I saw recently on the Virtual Coffee Lab channel by Mike. So this is a a shout out to to Mike actually the video is first roast with the Genie cafe too easy I'll put the link up here and well roasting with the Genie cafe is really super easy basically a no-brainer especially if you're just trying to get coffees to a certain color uh, like cinnamon or medium or even dark you just with a couple of presses on the button you'll be able to reach there but of course I'm a searcher so I was always thinking how can I get more information um, on the profile that my beans are following and in the discussion under the um, uh, first roast with the Genie Cafe video, there was a discussion um, and a suggestion to use an optical pyrometer. And then, of course, uh, googling it and finding one on Amazon for not even 20 euros, I was compelled to purchase this. Um, so this was the, the Helix, I think it was 19.99. It was delivered to me in under 24 hours. I was able to do an experiment with it. You know, in the same 24 hours, let's say, and uh, unpacking. You know, I was just so curious to be able to follow a roast and finally getting some additional data on it because at no point have I ever considered in drilling a hole or anything to get thermocouple in there that I have been using uh, with the, the, the popcorn roaster that I started out with. So um, my observations of kind of capturing this profile, and it's actually also in the discussion on the virtual coffee lab uh, video, is that um, well, probably we're just measuring the um, temperature of the glass and it's actually quite easy to demonstrate that because this will now measure 24 degrees and I put some hot water in here so at this point it's, it's still measuring 60 degrees and if we hit it like this it's going to be just a little bit less let's see how to do that yes but if we now and let's hope I don't get burned just put a bit of extra glass between here then you know 25 so really the, the infrared, I mean the glass would just pick up the infrared waves basically just to heat up with that also. It doesn't mean that this is not useful to give me additional data on my roast with the Genie Cafe, especially if you're not preheating your machine, then depending on how easily the glass picks up heat in comparison to what the beans do, you, you definitely have a better correlation with what the bean temperature probably is by also registering this um, and making a profile with that. It's not perfect and of course more expensive machines will give you more insights um, with their thermocouples or um, temperature measurements but for the 
home roaster that starts out, it, it, it's, it's a useful extra tool. And if you consider just this, this came with a, a battery included, which if you buy a cheap one is already three euros. You, you can even buy um, rechargeable battery. So it's this kind of nine volt one, as you can see here, for 20 euros, which would be the same price as, as having this uh, very cool um, device. Let's see how, how hot is the camera. Um, that was 26 degrees, so I um, um, have to wrap this up now. But um, I'll use this in the future also with my popcorn roastings, uh, as there I don't have any uh, glass obstructing my line of sight. So to investigate the different beans I have and how easily they take up heat, I do think this was a good small investment. So thanks Mike and um, how was the name? Adertooth1 uh, for pointing me in this direction. Hope to see you next time.